Shohei Otani signed a record-breaking $700 million contract this offseason, but he's technically only making $2 million for the next 10 years. So how does this contract work, and what are the other weird conditions in baseball's biggest contracts? Welcome to FOS Explains. In this video, we'll dive into the top five biggest contracts in Major League Baseball, exploring the players behind these deals, the path to their big payday, and how the heck their contracts work. All-star infielder Manny Machado's $350 million contract includes a hotel suite for road trips, luxury box tickets for all home games, and a full no-trade clause. But how did the third baseman get here? Machado joined the San Diego Padres in 2019 with a blockbuster deal that immediately positioned the team as serious contenders in the National League. But Machado began his professional journey a decade earlier. He was drafted by the Baltimore Orioles with the third overall pick in the 2010 MLB draft, getting a $5.25 million signing bonus. His talent was clear from the start, and by 2013, Machado had emerged as one of the most promising young players in baseball, earning his first All-Star selection and a Gold Glove Award. In February 2019, after spending time with the Orioles and a brief stint with the Los Angeles Dodgers, Machado signed a 10-year, $300 million contract with the Padres which at the time passed A-Rod's 10-year, $275 million deal as the biggest free agent contract in American sports history. Machado also received a $20 million signing bonus. The deal guaranteed him an average salary of $30 million, solidifying his role as the face of the franchise during a pivotal time for the Padres. Machado didn't stop there though. On February 26, 2023, he and the Padres agreed to a new 11-year, $350 million extension that'll keep him in San Diego through the 2033 season. The deal also reportedly included a full no-trade clause and no opt-outs. Machado also got a $45 million signing bonus broken up over a decade. He received $10 million of that bonus in December 2023, and will get $5 million on the first day of December every year from 2027 through 2033. When you factor in his bonuses, that means Machado earns $23 million in 2023 and is set to jump all the way up to $40 million every year from 2027 through 2033. But Machado's deal also has some special terms. Machado reportedly also gets a full no trade provision, a hotel suite on road trips for away games, and the right to purchase a luxury suite and four premium tickets to all Padres home games. He also agreed to donate 1% of his salary each season to charity. This massive extension guaranteed Machado long-term security and reaffirmed the Padres' commitment to building a competitive roster around him. With an average annual salary of $31.82 million, the deal ensures Machado remains among the highest played players in MLB. And when broken down, this translates to roughly $195,000 per game. Aaron Judge, the 6'7", towering outfielder known for his incredible power at the plate, is a star player for the New York Yankees. Judge made history when he signed one of the largest contracts in MLB history after his record-breaking 2022 season. That year, he set the AL single-season home run record with 62 homers, setting the stage for a massive contract. But before that, Judge was drafted by the Yankees in the first round of the 2013 MLB draft, earning a $1.8 million signing bonus. His rise was swift, and by 2017, he was crowned the AL Rookie of the Year, setting the then-rookie home run record of 52. Judge's dominance in the league made him one of the faces of the Yankees, and he entered a series of arbitration negotiations over the next few years. In 2020, Judge and the Yankees avoided arbitration by signing an $8.5 million contract. In 2021, they avoided again with a $10.1 million deal, but in June 2022, they settled in arbitration with a $19 million contract. And after rejecting a seven-year, $213.5 million offer from the Yankees before the 2022 season, Judge bet on himself and put up a historic performance that forced the Yankees' hand. On December 7th, 2022, Judge agreed to a nine-year, $360 million contract with the Yankees, ensuring his place as the leader of the Bronx Bombers for the next decade. This deal guarantees him an annual salary of $40 million, making it the highest annual value contract for a position player in MLB history at the time. 
When you break down that 40 million per year salary, it translates to approximately $4,569 an hour, or $76.16 per minute of the year. Judge's commitment to the Yankees, alongside his record-breaking abilities, demonstrates his value not only as a player, but as a franchise cornerstone for years to come. The baseball world knows Marcus Lynn Betts as Mookie Betts, a former MVP, multiple-time Gold Glove and Silver Slugger winner, and likely a future Hall of Famer. Joining the Los Angeles Dodgers in the 2020 season, Mookie celebrated his second World Series title in his very first year with this team. But his journey began on August 15th, 2011. He signed his rookie contract with the Boston Red Sox, earning a signing bonus of $750,000. He was a fifth round pick straight out of high school, committed to play for the University of Tennessee, but the big bonus helped the Red Sox entice Betts to skip college. In the following years, Betts developed into one of Boston's top prospects and made his big league debut in 2014. He started on a league minimum salary, making $254,000 over 52 games his rookie season. And eventually, he secured a $10.5 million deal in arbitration right before going on to win AL MVP and his first World Series. A year later, Mookie avoided arbitration with the Red Sox by agreeing to a $20.1 million salary. Then he avoided arbitration again, agreeing to a one-year deal worth $27 million with the Red Sox in 2020. But just weeks later, he was traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers in a move that would redefine his career. In July 2020, Mookie Betts signed a 12-year contract worth $365 million with the Dodgers guaranteeing him an annual average salary of $30 million and a signing bonus of $65 million. Notably, $115 million of his earnings is deferred from 2033 to 2044. That means $8 million will be taken off his annual paycheck for the first five seasons, $10 million for the following two, and $11 million from the last five years of the deal. Betts will receive the deferred money in annual installments every July 1st in the 12 years after the deal expires. That'll be from 2033 through 2044, or from age 40 through his 52nd birthday. But if traded, these deferrals are eliminated, and the team he plays for owes him his full salary. This giant extension guarantees him an average of $30.4 million annually. With his 2024 salary broken down, Mookie Betts will earn approximately $41.85 for every minute of the year. Now, that's a lot of money, but his contract is nothing compared to the next guy. You don't have to be a baseball fan to know that Mike Trout is one of MLB's biggest stars. The Los Angeles Angels center fielder is a three-time American League MVP, 11-time All-Star, and nine-time Silver Slugger Award winner. His pro baseball career started in 2009. He signed his first contract with the Angels after being drafted in the first round of the MLB draft and cashed in on a signing bonus of $1.215 million. In Mike Trout's rookie year 2012, he earned a base salary of about $482,000. He won AL Rookie of the Year, followed that up with two great seasons, and then in 2014, he made history. Trout signed a six-year, $144.5 million extension running from 2015 through 2020. The contract's average annual value of $24.08 million became the highest in MLB history for a player with less than three years of service time. And in 2019, Mike Trout signed what was the largest contract in MLB history, a massive 12-year deal with the Angels worth $426.5 million. It included a $20 million signing bonus and a guaranteed average annual salary of $35.4 million, with the total compensation reaching $37.1 million. This contract contains no opt-out options and includes a full no-trade clause. Performance bonuses are also embedded in the contract. The bonuses reportedly include $50,000 for winning All-Star MVP, $500,000 for winning American League MVP, and $100,000 for Golden Glove, Silver Slugger, and ALCS MVP awards. As a result of this massive deal, Mike Trout will remain with the Angels until 2030 and will enter free agency before the 2031 season. Now, Trout may be making about $35.5 million a year, but even his contract is overshadowed by his superstar former teammate who signed the largest contract in baseball history. 
The anticipation for Shohei Otani's free agency and big payday was extremely high. A one of one player who emerged as one of the MLB's top pitchers and hitters. The Los Angeles Dodgers eventually emerged as favorites to land Otani, but no one could have predicted the insane 10 year, $700 million deal with 97% of the money deferred. The scale of Otani's contract is wild. Averaging 70 million per year, it obliterates the previous MLB record of 43.3 million set by both Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. And it's higher than the entire payroll of the 2023 Oakland A's. But in the wildest twist, Otani will only receive $2 million annually over the next decade. Then his earnings skyrocket to $68 million per year from 2034 to 2043. So just how much money is that? Otani's deal translates to an average of $2.21 every single second, meaning he earns LA minimum hourly wage in less than eight seconds and earns about $795 an hour. Taking it even farther, Otani earns an average of $1.35 million per week, making his contract the first in MLB history to surpass the million dollar mark weekly. For context, Scherzer and Verlander salaries equate to approximately $832,000 per week. Otani's average weekly earnings surpass the total annual income of some of the young players and is almost twice the 750 k minimum annual salary for the league. But ironically, Otani's actual salary for the next decade is just $2 million per year, much closer to that minimum salary than of baseball's other top players. But there's also benefits to the deferred money. If Otani is no longer a California resident in 2034, he couldn't potentially avoid the state's notoriously high taxes and save millions on taxes by moving to a state like Florida or Texas. And then there's the extra perks alongside the money. He gets a full no trade clause, a suite for all home games, and an interpreter. Then there's also the really unusual clause, giving him the right to opt out of his contract if the team's president or owner leaves the team. It's truly a unique contract for a one of a kind player. But with two Silver Slugger awards and two AL MVPs, do you think he's worth the contract? For more on the business of sports, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.